Anybody who studies the Qur'an seriously knows that Allah records on multiple occasions how prophets were insulted, how they were made fun of, how they were rejected in the most obscene ways, and how even they, the prophets themselves felt the pain of those disbelievers making fun of them. Nuh alayhi salam complains about how people found him disgusting and that they would plug their ears you know, with their fingers and walk away from him and pull their clothes back as a show of insult to him. And our Prophet is no exception sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This Qur'an that honors our Prophet also at the same time records the most hurtful words that were said to him. That the Prophet himself would have to recite and remind himself of the words that were said about him. Sahir, magician, you know, majnoon, insane, kathab, a perpetual liar. So many accusations are made against our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they're all recorded in the Qur'an. Allah wants us to remember that this is a fact. That all prophets, the most, though they are the most noble of Allah's creation, and that Allah Himself has honored them, at the same time are people that will face the worst kinds of insults, and the worst kinds of ridicule. But what is supposed to be the reaction? And if anybody is supposed to be angry, and just be overwhelmed with rage, when the prophet is insulted, I would argue it would be his companions, whose faith, radiallahu anhum ajma'in, can't even be compared to yours and mine. But how come they don't react the way we do? How come they're not having any protests? How come they're not going out and you know, uh, uh, yelling and screaming in rage? Because they understand that the Qur'an didn't just come to give them a love for their Prophet, but also to guide that love. And to also teach them how to respond to these kinds of insults. How is it that we don't know that the Prophet himself is told sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَاصْبِرْ عَلَى مَا يَقُولُونَ Be patient over whatever they say. I'm fascinated by this ayah, because the word ma means whatever. Whatever they say. Not whatever they've said, whatever they might even come up with. And the mulare form in the Arabic suggests what they may have said in the past, but the present and even the future till this day. The Prophet's policy is to be patient himself, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Where in the Qur'an does it justify our anger like this? And actually, is our anger even justified? If anything, I argue, the one thing we should feel towards those who hate us and make hateful speech towards Muslims is sorrow. We should feel sorry for these people. They can't hurt the Prophet. They can't take away his honor. It was given from the sky. It was given from Allah. Nothing on earth can take it away. No article, no cartoon, no film, no speaker, no hate speech, you know, no form of art. It's not going to take away the dignity of our Prophet ﷺ. And these films and these kinds of attempts are futile, wasteful attempts to try to undermine the message of Islam and to misrepresent Islam. But think about it. Us reacting in this emotional manner and engaging in senseless violence, is this not also misrepresenting Islam? Aren't we doing exactly what people want, you know, the enemies of Islam want for Islam to be misrepresented? If anything makes me angry, it's the anger at our own selves that we don't understand the policy of the Qur'an and how to res res respond to insults. Respond with that which is best. Finally, I want to share with you guys, some people think that this was an early policy in Islam, that in the Meccan time of the Prophet, that he was supposed to be passive. But when the Prophet migrated, he, and battles began like Badr and Uhud and Ahzab and Tabuk, etc., now the policy was not to be patient, and therefore we should take that. Let's look at Ali Imran, the battle of Uhud. What does Allah say to us? وَلَتَسْمَعُنَّ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا أَذًا كَثِيرًا You will absolutely hear hurtful words from those who were given the book way before you and people who commit idolatry and blasphemy with God. You will hear word, hurtful speech absolutely coming from them. These kinds of things are a manifestation, a proof that Allah prepared us mentally for that. But what was supposed to be our reaction? God Himself tells us, Allah Himself tells us, وَلَا إِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ بِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ If you can be patient and you can maintain your consciousness of Allah, then that is the most noble of deeds, the highest of accomplishments that you can accomplish. That is supposed to be the, the reaction of the Muslim. This video was watched by what, 30 people? This loser and his cousins? Before we gave it support. We made it popular. We're the ones that are giving it more flame. And I, I, I want to end with this. You know, in school, bullies tease the kid that they know takes the teases and gets, you know, it, 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 they, he shows a reaction. The more we react in this way, the more we're encouraging others to you know, pursue more hateful speech. We have to learn to respond in mature, civil, and higher discourse the way the Qur'an and the Sunnah of our Messenger, the legacy of our Prophet expects from us. I pray that this is a message that reaches all of my young brothers and sisters that are feeling the sadness, the, the, the rage because of this incident, but I hope to turn that rage, and I hope you can turn that rage into something positive. Barakallahu li wa lakum, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.